Hi, I'm Sean Burnetter, Business Development Manager at Hydra Unlimited. At Hydra Unlimited, we believe in pushing the boundaries of deep water culture with one goal in mind, making your plants thrive. And after years of testing and research, we created Hydramax. Hydramax is a full hydroponic system that takes the guesswork out of your grow, that keeps your plants healthy and gives you higher yields. It's designed to be easy to set up and clean so you can get growing as fast as possible. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to install our two row, 12 pot system. Let's get started. Hydramax systems assemble quickly and easily with quick lock connectors. The only tools required are a pair of scissors or tubing cutters, a 3 8 inch nut driver, and a pair of adjustable pliers. When your Hydramax system arrives, the first thing you want to do is locate your instruction booklet and gather your parts for each step. Also, be sure to have plenty of space cleared for your Hydramax installation. To begin, you will want to gather your parts for your drain header. First, place your pump in a desired location and begin laying out your drain header parts as shown in your instruction manual. Once your pieces are in place, you can begin assembling your drain header. Connect your quick lock hoses in each fitting and slide your locking ring forward to lock into place. Use a 3 8 inch nut driver to tighten the band clamps on the flexible couplers. Once your drain header is assembled, it's time to assemble your drain manifolds. Your Hydramax system will come with one drain manifold per bucket. Each manifold consists of a left and right piece and one orifice that joins them together. Assemble each manifold as shown. Now that your drain manifolds are assembled, we can now assemble the drain lines. Using your drain orifice guide, lay out your assembled manifolds in the correct order. In this example, we're building a two row, 12 pot system, which gives us six buckets per row. Beginning at the pump, our drain manifold layout shows a yellow, red, yellow, green, green, green setup for each row. Lay out your manifolds in the approximate location to begin your drain line assembly. Before you assemble your drain lines, lay out two drain hoses between each of the drain manifolds. Now, connect each of your drain manifolds to your drain hoses. Now that your drain lines are connected, let's move on to your pressure gauge assembly. If you are using an inline chiller, you will need to install your pressure gauge and adapters. To begin, wrap Teflon tape around the threaded ports of your chiller. Now install the included adapters until they are hand tight. Next, install your pressure gauge to the intake of your chiller. Now it's time to assemble your supply header and supply lines. To assemble your supply header, first attach your pump stack to the pump as shown. Now install your quick lock adapter to the output adapter with adjustable pliers. Connect one end of the hose to the pressure gauge and the other end to the outlet of the pump stack.
Next, lay out your pieces to your supply header and assemble your supply header as shown. Now, connect your chiller to the supply header. To assemble your supply lines, begin by placing one T in each row followed by a hose. Connect each T to a hose for each side. To finish your supply line assembly, we will need to cap off the ends of your system using ball valves and quick lock caps. Place the caps on both sides of your drain lines as shown. To install your quick lock adapter, place one quick lock barb adapter to each of the supply tees. Next, you'll need to assemble your buckets. Place the legs and press down firmly to correctly seat the legs. Carefully place the buckets in each of the drain manifolds. Now that your buckets are assembled, we're going to connect the circulators to your Hydromax system. Attach the quick lock barbs to the circulators. Connect one end of the tubing to your quick lock barb. Mark the location to cut your tubing. Once your tubing is cut, connect it to your circulator. Use the spring clamps to hold each end of the tubing in place. Now we can install the refill valve. Place the refill valve to the top of any bucket in your system. Finally, we can attach our lids and net pots to your Hydromax system. Connect your fresh water supply to the refill valve with the included coupler. Also, be sure to mount your dosing funnel in place. If you have any questions, please reach out to me or our Hydro Customer Service team and we'd be happy to help. Thanks for watching.